White chocolate is always one of those things where you either love it or hate it. You can get it for as cheap as 43p with Miss Molly's. Alternatively, the best variation of Tesco white buttons I could get is these white chocolate buttons for 70p. Or, if you're feeling extra bougie, you can go all the way up to Milky Bar white chocolate for 125 Now, cheaper chocolate gets a lot of flack, usually because it has no taste. But ultimately, we're here to put that to the test to see whether or not this cheap chocolate is actually any good. For a full bar of this Miss Molly's chocolate, it's 43 pence. Now, for that, you get 5 lots of 20 gram servings. For 100 grams, it's 550 calories. And for 100 grams, it's 59.4 grams of sugar. So it's pretty much entirely sugar. Now the cost per 100 grams is 43p. So great value for money, but it depends whether or not it actually tastes any good. And also you can see the best before dates are always really good on these chocolates. Again, probably because of the huge amount of sugar content on these. You don't often find many ingredients in white chocolate. And of course, the calorie values are also horrific. You may as well just be spooning white sugar straight into your mouth. It's almost as bad. Now, I tried to find a mid price point option. The only one I could find is these white chocolate buttons. Now, they've had the packaging reduced by 33%. I wonder if that's also shrinkflation in effect. But these are supposed to be smooth and creamy. Yet again, they have a huge amount of calories. It's 70p for a bag. And for that, you get two lots of 35 grams for portions. Per 100 grams, it's 550 calories, 21.4 grams of sugar, and it costs a pound for 100 grams worth. Of course, each packet is only actually 70 grams. So again, it always looks like it costs more because in effect, it does. They sell you a 70 gram bag, but really you're comparing it against most 100 gram bars. This, of course, makes it twice as expensive. Now, you've got to remember the Miss Molly's brand is actually under Tesco's. So it makes you wonder what the actual differences are between these. And again, watch your intake of these because these aren't healthy in the slightest. Now, everyone remembers Milky Bar from the really old Milky Bar kid adverts. But here it is. It's classed as a sharing bar from Nestle. Now, its number one ingredient is milk. So you're going to expect a lot more milky flavor than sugar in this one. The price of a bar currently in Tesco is £1.25, and for that you get 5 lots of 18 gram servings. Note that you get 90 grams rather than 100. Again, probably that shrinkflation in effect. So if you compare it for 100 grams, calorie wise it's 542. It's 52.5 grams of sugar per 100 grams, and the cost per 100 grams is £1.38. Now it's interesting to note that between these and the Tesco buttons, it's the same number of calories, but somehow the Tesco buttons are over half the amount of sugar, which to me makes absolutely no sense because you'd expect most of that to be then taken up by milk. But actually, I think that Nestle is probably going to be better in terms of flavor. I can't be sure because at the end of the day, I've never tried the Tesco milky buttons. So maybe they're better than people say. But of course, the only way to test these properly is to use my trusty plate and get a portion of each. I decided to get three squares of each chocolate and then just a handful of buttons. This kind of represents an average size portion. Now the way to tell the difference is the Nestle chocolate of course has the Nestle logo on the front. So let's get started with this Miss Molly's chocolate. Well, it left a lot to be desired and I'm putting that lightly. There's absolutely no smell at all. There's no creamy texture. There's no aftertaste in the slightest. And after a few squares, I suppose it becomes palatable, but you don't really want a food that's just palatable. But at the end of the day, you are only paying 43 pence. So what do you expect? The Tesco buttons are double the price pretty much, but half the amount of sugar. But whatever they replace it with, which I'm assuming is milk, actually makes it taste much better. There's still no smell though, and the small buttons are good for food decorations. Definitely much more creamy and the sugar is less noticeable, which means it actually has a better flavor profile. I definitely recommend these as an upgrade, if your budget can allow for it, of course. Now, Milky Bar still has no smell. It's got larger pieces, so you definitely can notice the flavor a lot more because you get a lot of it. And it's definitely got a stronger taste of milk because, of course, that's the number one ingredient. The problem with this, though, is it's too sickly. 
yeah, okay, it's got less sugar in it, but really you're left after a few pieces just honestly feeling sick. It's way too strong. Yeah, Milky Bar is good, but if you've ever made like a Milky Bar cheesecake as well, you know what I'm saying. It's just way too sickly. It'll spike your glucose like no tomorrow. It's absolutely crazy. And surprisingly, after this taste test, I'd actually prefer the Tesco white buttons, but it depends what I'm eating. If I'm going to eat a whole bag, probably the white buttons. If I just fancy a square or two, it's got to be the Milky Bar. Quite interesting to be honest, I didn't expect that the Nestle Milky Bar would be as sickly as it actually was. I didn't remember it to be that sickly. But then again, with 52.5 grams of sugar per 100 grams, it is literally just like getting a bowl of milk and pouring 50 grams of sugar in it and then calling that a snack. It's just in a chocolate form rather than a bowl and liquid. But enough of me rambling. If you want to see more videos and you've got some suggestions about what comparisons you want, leave them in the comments down below. Until then, swap a shopper out.